Refinishing a Walnut Blunderbuss Stock, William Hovey Smith, 2013. I'm the author of Extreme Muzzle Loading, and we sometimes build our own guns. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And here we have one Blunderbuss Stock. Now, to date, we have made several interesting modifications. You may recall that when we started, we had a bunch of chunks taped on this poor thing, and it was finished in a splotchy fashion. Uh, well, it looked like it rolled around the bottom of the bulge of a ship for about 20 years. Well, we wanted to make it look somewhat better, and we also wanted to adjust the point of aim of the shot, as well as the impact point of the ball. At first, we taped up some cardboard and some other junk to build up the comb here, about a quarter of an inch. Then we shaped a piece of wood, we pegged it in, we cut it down, we shot it in, and have now shaped it and refinished the entire stock. Here is what the blunderbuss looked like when we started. Well, we took it out there hunting, and indeed we did get a swan with it, but we added the comb to the stock and then shot it in and rasped it down until it fit. Boom. So now, the comb has about a quarter of an inch, where you put the cheek right here. Now, it shoots to the point of A. Hmm. Okay. At present, we are about to complete the finishing of the stock. Now, there are a few cosmetic kind of things that make a difference. You notice here, there's a light line, which is the glue bond. Okay, we want to cover up that. The same here. There's a light line. As well as this part of the stock has been sanded down a little bit more than the rest. And it's a little lighter looking than the rest of the stock. Alright, uh, these are things we can fix. A little black shoe polish can work wonders. And you just put it all down there. This is a wax, after all. And you proceed to coat this light colored portion. This incidentally fills in any little pores that are left. All right. There is much gap there. As well as around the front right here. and a little bit extending out on the color. And we sort of rub it in. We are going to put in one more coat. So you take some steel wool, and you steal it down just lightly. You don't want to really rub on it hard, hard, but just to get any fuzz off the grain. You'll notice that the wood is, is really quite attractive now that we have some stain on it. And we use wood stain here, which is this material. You have wall of stain. And we're now going to put oil on it. This is about its sixth coat of oil, by the way. It takes about two hours for it to dry between coats. So this is not something you rush. And this is the cloth I've been using for the oil. And make sure you've got the oil and rather than the stain. Put some on your cloth. much. And you proceed to rub down. And you put more if there's any little light spots on it. Now it is 
gonna take a while. I've got a <laughs> got considerable on this cloth. So it's gonna take a while for this to dry. This, this needs to set at least overnight. And one time you start oiling from the back of the stock forward, and the next time you start oiling from the front of the stock forward. But this is a good gunk of it, so yeah, this is fine. All right. And you also don't forget you need to put some down in the barrel channel too, because that needs waterproofing. looking good guys yeah now of course it's all wet with oil now this will dry and as much as I put on this will take at least overnight but we've solved some of the major problems and we've covered up some of the cosmetic blemishes and we will complete this process finally when this coat dries this is going to be the last one and then we'll put a good coat of wax on and that will actually seal it and help waterproof for now, this is Hovey Smith, reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, Crossbow Hunting, Extreme Muzzle Loading, and Practical Bow Fishing, all of which are available as e-books. Refinishing a gun stock is best done as a week-long process. Now, allow time for each coat of oil to dry between steps. And don't put your metal on. At least three days have passed since the last application of finishing oil and paste wax. For more about my books, blogs, and videos, go to my website at www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.